What is happening, Ranger Nation? Welcome back to another Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Versus! Yeah! Today's fan request is Goldar versus Lauren. Don't forget to like, yeah. comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified when more Power Rangers arrives. And special shout outs to all our members, including our ultimates. If you guys want to hop aboard the membership train, all you got to do is click right here, select the tier that works best for you. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Goldar and Lauren. That's an uh, interesting Ooh. one. Kinda, I kind of like that. Oh, I love playing as Goldar, so yeah. I'm going to put Trini in my team oh, as well. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. Uh, Why not? I'm going to go with... You know what? No, I'm going to bring in Draken because I don't really use Draken. Be... Draken. I'll be Luke. And... Goldar, Trini. I'll just be Ranger Slayer. Let's see. Ooh, okay. All I'm right. I'm going to do the, the uh, Samurai... Um, Samurai Megazord. Megazord. Oh, okay. I'm bringing the OG Megazord into this then. Okay, so right, how this yeah ah, go how this is gonna work, people, is the first team to win three matches is today's uh, Morphin Master, and I was gonna say it's Team Evil versus Team Evil, but I also got I evil on my team, so sides. it's just a Ranger Throwdown. That's right, it's a Throwdown. No match for you, Goldar. And Goldar's actually making a comeback in uh, Power Rangers. Uh, actually, he may already for Jason's return. Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah. Whoops. Although it's not really Goldar, it's more like Goldar's been fused with other people, so it'd kind of be like Goldar's descendant. Ow. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because technically Goldar died when Zordon died, because Zordon's energy went throughout the universe and destroyed all evil, which originally was the finale Spirit of... Bomb. Yeah, basically. Finale of the Power Rangers uh, franchise, but it got renewed after In Space. In Space oh, wow. was the end. So what they did is they're like, oh, okay, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna end the Zordon era, basically. Aww. And we're gonna do something completely different. Or Zordon. Yeah, Zordon kind of, you know, went all out. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was the end of Zordon. He went all, like, Luke Skywalker on everyone and disappeared. Yeah, but Goldar comes back looking really weird in uh, Power Rangers Beast Morphers. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Trini will jump on you. Oh my gosh! Oh, I thought I died already. Mm, yes, like, you wow, died of laughter. Wow! Oh. So some people say they don't like playing as Trini because she's slow, but I really like playing as her. They nerfed her a little bit. Mm, yeah, maybe. My Ranger Slayer. <laughs> ow! Oh, ow. Nah, nah, nah. It's just so weird that Kim ends up working for Lord Draken. Yeah, Lord Draken is second in command. It's like they they knew each other as teenagers. No, like, she he uh huh? he, he brainwashed her. Oh, okay. She's not Ranger Slayer on her own volition. She's basically enslaved. Is she from the same Earth as he is? Or yep. No? World of the Coinless. They also went into more detail. Like, the reason why Jason never escaped uh, Lord Draken's control and, like, tried to challenge him and take him out, uh, being the ranger in the Iron Mask, is basically Lord Draken was like, Oh, you escaped again, Jason. Well, I know how to make sure you'll never escape. And he's like, What, you know, what do you mean, Tommy? And he's like, Oh, I don't go by that name. It's Draken. <laughs> and, and he's like, All right. He's like, Kim? And she's like, Yes, Master. He says, If Jason escapes again, kill yourself. And oh Jason, Jason never left his cell after that point. So he can tell her what to do? Like, she has to do it? Like, Something it's like, like some type of mind control, yeah. Wow, that's mm -hmm. why he never left, so she would That's why you him. never saw Jason and everybody presumed he was gone. It's because he refused to leave the cell because he cares for Kimberly. So he just Aww. stayed stayed in that tower as the ranger with the iron mask. Yeah, I think it's kind of sweet. I didn't... Really know he cared for Kimberly like that, so... I mean, that version of Jason. There's other yeah. versions of Jason that ended up with Trini and Lauren. I know. You know, it, it's just... Okay. So is Lord Draken the same Earth as the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? He he was on an Earth that was part of the Ranger multiverse that was like that. It, oh, wow. So it was like that, yeah. Yeah. So then the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers had to come from their Earth and stop Lord Draken or something. Yep, exactly. Think of it like Injustice. Mm -hmm. Pretty much you had to have another uh, group of regular and heroes. Batman had to stop Owlman, basically. Kind of. Or something. Yeah, pretty much. 
So, so did the actual Tommy still help stop Lord Draken then, or? Uh, yes, the real Tommy helped uh, stop Lord Draken. Was there only one version of Tommy that was, like, were all mo most of the versions of Tommy were Lord Draken, or most of them were Tommy? They were Tommy. They were different rangers. So what? How they explained it is Tommy's multiple forms were like Tommy's from other multiverses. Oh wow. So in one universe he gets old and he becomes the Black Ranger from Dino Thunder. Uh, in oh. college he becomes the Turbo Red Ranger. So you're saying like different versions of him were different shows? Well that's what, in. kind of, they were trying to explain that but they were also saying okay this is a different point in time for the original Tommy so this was later on in the series when he got a different power. Yeah. So I mean it, that's it, interesting. Yeah, it got a little weird. But basically, the best way I can explain that one season of Power Rangers, like in the comics, where Tommy is going around offing himself, like across the multiverse, is they're basically doing the one with Jet Li. Oh, once, wow. once Tommy kills himself, he gets stronger. So he goes and he basically oh wipes gosh. out all the Tommies in the universe, except for him. But one Tommy also survived, even though it looked like he didn't. It really looked like he died. Um, oh. And then he came back, and he was the only one powerful enough to challenge Draken, because crazy. you know he too had the power of Tommy's. Oh, because all the other ones were killed. Right. So then the remaining ones were the strongest Tommies, or yeah, in that I case, the Jet Li thing. Watching the fight scene of the one, but I didn't really understand what was going on in it. Like, I remember there was that really intense fight scene, but I didn't really understand what yeah. was. But, I mean, there's there's some interesting things that are going on in the Power Ranger comics like, like right now. It feels like they're trying to make Jason the new Lord Draken. Oh, wow. That's so, crazy. well, he's he's been locked up as the Man of the Iron Mask for who knows how long, probably 15 years. And um, he doesn't like the idea of all these different uh, Ranger sentries around using the powers of the Mighty Morphin Rangers. So a threat comes that uh, Kimberly's army of, like, people using shared powers, like, you know, the Ranger Sentry guys, like the, the Zacks with the blasters and the Jasons with the swords and stuff like that. Tie game. Um, so during a fight against, like, an alien invasion, um, Jason sees it as a losing battle, so he goes and he takes back the black, yellow, and red Ranger power, so he comes back as the red Ranger fully morphed. And the power is no longer stretched between all these different, like, hundreds of people. Mm -hmm. So the Tyrannosaurus power is, once again, very strong. So you oh, probably wow. only need the three veteran rangers to save the universe anyway. But it put Kimberly's army at risk during the invasion. So we're going to find out in a month, you know, if these other people are going to try to challenge Jason. If Jason is going to become Lord Draken. Or if the power rangers are going to come back in the world of the coinless. I can't even imagine going to another Earth and killing that version of you. <clears throat> yeah. It's so dark. It is. It's like because you know how you feel, so you'd be so afraid and it'd be terrible. And you're doing it to yourself. It's just horrible. I can't even think of, like, how, what kind of person would you have to be to do that? No, if you think that's weird, when he killed the Red Tur or the Red Zeo Ranger, which was himself, he actually stayed on as... Tommy. He posed as himself. Oh my gosh! On the team oh, that's creepy. After the episode where uh, King Mondo oh had captured gosh. Tommy and made him king of the Machine Empire, so wow. Yeah. Yep. That is so. And creepy. he was hanging out with Jason as the Gold Ranger, um, like just whatever his regular Tommy would do, and you know he was like, you know what, Jason, I really do miss you, and it's like I'm thinking. Wait, isn't this the Tommy that killed Jason in his world? And he's hanging out with older Jason, who's the Gold Ranger? This is so weird. What are you doing, oh, Boom? I know. But I mean, part of me was like, please make this a movie or make this like oh, an anime or something. Great. Yeah. My gosh. But the only problem is like, if you made a live action movie, you'd, like every, like it would be, we already tried to make a live action uh, Power Rangers movie, and it didn't really work. Well, I mean, great. that's why. I mean, since the actors are, you know, up there in years now, you it would have be to recast everybody. No, no, just what? do do an animated movie. Oh, I see what you're saying with their voices. Then, yeah, that way. Yeah, then they can all play themselves. Yep, because I mean, Jason right now is playing 17 or 18 year old him when he's in his 40s. I mean, that would be great. I mean, if you know, Kevin Conroy can keep playing Batman. Exactly. And he's who knows how long 
old, like 200. Because I mean, old now. for the most part, Jason in this game still sounds like his younger self, doesn't he? Does. He does. Because all these grunts and attacks and stuff I like mean, that. I mean, I didn't even know it was him. I was like, who did they get to play Jason? He sounds like a younger version of Jason. He sounds so great. And you're just like, yeah, that's actually Austin St. John. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, wow, he sounds really good. Everybody sounds great. Two to one. Tommy sounds really good as Draken. So. Yeah, but when they brought Eric into it, it was like, okay. And then I realized, oh great, this is how everybody could have sounded if they were all him. <laughs> if they bring Johnny Ambosh into this, then you'd have another amazing uh, voice actor in the game, too. I I really hope that someday we can get the equipment where you can do, like, voiceovers from home. Mm. Well, I would also use it for our Let's Plays and our live streams, too. Because mm. I'm, I'm trying to find ways to increase our audio. Um, well, and it's kind of hard to record like with a little sound thingy, muffly thing over. No, that's not what I mean. There, there's actually there's a way to make our current microphone sound better that doesn't cost any money. Oh, it's, it's a, I didn't know that. Yeah, there's a it's a computer program, but I don't know how to use it yet. I'm, I'm well, still I learning. I also really want sound editing for like like uh, singing and stuff because when I like when I gave that one song that I sang to. You know, our friend Chris Holen, he was able to make it sound like a studio quality sound. I know, that was incredible. And I was thinking, like, if I could figure out how to do that, I could do all kinds of covers and stuff. People are like, why don't you sing on your channel? It's like, because I sound like, kind of, kind of sound bad in the oh. mic, because my the mic quality sounds terrible. Like, I mean, I think about, like, you know, auditioning for different things, like online sometimes when they have contests. But how am I going to send them something that sounds all crackly and stuff? Do you want to know something interesting, though? What? Like, um, Kyle Higgins, the guy who wrote the story for this game and was the one behind the Shattered Grid thing, he actually pitched a... When, you know, Saban still owned Power Rangers, he pitched a Netflix animated um, series about this to Netflix, and Netflix was interested. Saban was on board, too, but when the deal... For selling it to Hasbro, Hasbro didn't want to do it. So Hasbro was the one who pulled funding for it. So a, cu a couple years ago, the um, Power Rangers thing was actually going to debut on Netflix because they were, it was going to be more mature, um, but it would probably be more in line with the Castlevania Netflix series, except probably not as gory. Wait, you're saying the, this all, they wrote this during the time when Hasbro owned Power Rangers? Uh, this was, this game was made, uh, like, right before the transition to Hasbro, yeah. Oh. So the writer of the game, who's also the writer of the comic, like, that I was talking about. Yeah. Um, they were gonna have an animated series based on the so Shattered Grid event. If they had not been bought by Hasbro, we might have been watching a Netflix series. If it was this. still Saban, yeah. And also we'd have more Rangers in the game by now too. So basically, no offense, but it feels like Hasbro hasn't really helped the game or the possible series. I gotcha. Tie game. So whoever yeah. wins next time is the winner. Oh, tie game, oh my God. Tie game. I mean, maybe they helped. I mean, they must have helped something, because, I mean, some. Well, they have. Hasbro has released a ton of Power Ranger figures with their Lightning Collection, um, which is more than uh, Bandai Namco, when they were making toys, or whoever the company was making toys for Power Rangers, did not release as many toys as Hasbro has been. Like, Hasbro has, I think, almost 25 or 30 Rangers now. Like, in, in their toy collection, and they've only had, uh, the figures for one year. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, Hasbro is great at making toys, that's for sure. But the video game, yeah, it doesn't seem like they had as many plans as, um, Old Enway and Saban did, because we would have had a Beast Morphers character by now. According to stuff I've heard, we would have had Coda, uh, we would have had more skins for Rangers. Well, if you think about it, like, I mean, I'm not very good at all this stuff that you know and all these other people know about Hasbro and Power Our friend would still have his, a couple of our friends would still be working like, at Saban, too. It feels like Hasbro, like, is good at making 
shows that sell more toys. Mm -hmm. Whereas Saban is good at making really good stories that the stories sell themselves. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. But part of the reason, the the rumor is why Hasbro didn't want to take that gamble of like having a more mature, like you know, side ranger story for adults. Yeah. Is because years ago they tried to make like a, a side um, GI Joe thing, like a very. Mm -hmm. um, a thing for older people, and yeah. it didn't sell, and the new toys didn't sell, and oh, wow. all the other well, stuff. So they wouldn't sell toys for it, though. You could just make the series. Oh no, they made all new. They made all all new toys for Duke yeah. and Scarlet. And but I wouldn't have made it for older people because older people don't really buy toys. Actually, they do. Really? Yeah. Like action um, figures and stuff. Yep. Mattel brought back the He-Man line, and the He-Man line, um, the new She-Ra toys for that terrible Netflix show aren't selling at all. Mm -hmm. um, but the classic She-Ra toys and Masters so of the Universe remake stuff is selling like crazy. Like older people will buy like classic. Just uh, like there are older people that play video games, there are older people that collect um, stuff from their childhood, like uh, toys and board games and all kinds of stuff. Like it's not just yeah. little ones who play with that stuff. Yeah, Whoops. that makes sense. I mean, like maybe they could have just so they. So basically, if something doesn't work for a big company, like, uh, you know, for instance, Disney or Hasbro, like, they're not going to try it again. Like, it's like, okay, we oh. tried that ten years ago, we're not going to try it. Nice job, Amber. Oh, Ranger Slayer wins. Jason goes down against Sorry, Jason. Kim. No, it's fine. Fine, Jason's fine. Lord Draken told me to do it. I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. So anyway, guys and gals, that is going to do it for today's episode of Power Rangers Versus. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. In the comment section below, tell us who you want to see battle next time. And stay tuned later today at 3 o'clock for more Dragon Ball Fighters and an awesome live stream tonight at 8 o'clock on something else. Until then, Ranger Nation, thanks so much for watching Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Mm -hmm. God bless and happy gaming. See